Um, what's up, y'all? So I was just realizing, like, really, like, pay attention to how people show up for you when you're going through something. I've been, you know, in this space where, you know, I'm in a huge transition in my life, not just in terms of, you know, medically transition, but also medically transitioning, but also in just looking for a healthier workplace. And what I've really been noticing is like, who, who is, you know, sort of emotionally available or um, who is able to show up for themselves in a way that they can also show up for me? Because what I've really learned um, on my trauma recovery path I learned from myself, from my own mistakes, like looking at my own, you know, sort of transition through the work I've been doing, looking at myself like objectively, but also with compassion. I've been able to see, you know, when when I was able to show up for certain people, right? Um, When was I not able to, and in what ways did that show things that I still need to work on and how I show up for myself? And so this isn't to like excuse when people aren't able to show up for us, but it's to at least allow some sort of clarity about why, you know what I mean, people can't. Um, But it's important when you're going through something and when you are at your most vulnerable to really think about who you are at your most vulnerable with. It's okay to make a mistake and to reveal your vulnerability to somebody who can't hold it. Because in those moments, you learn something about yourself and maybe the red flags that you ignored before. Because the thing is, is that even with CPTSD, we see them. We just don't necessarily interpret or read them um, in ways that uh, motivate us to take action to protect ourselves. And so it's super important to listen to that voice inside of you, inside of you and to listen to yourself when you, you know, recognize that someone perhaps just doesn't have your best interest at heart or they are not really able to be with you in your suffering and to be with you in your sort of reality. And a lot of times it's not about you. It doesn't mean you're too much. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're not enough. Um, On the contrary, it just means that human beings cannot meet other human beings or even other life forms and levels of consciousness and felt experience when they have not met, met themselves. And I'm saying this as somebody, you know what I mean, uh, who is on this journey myself. And so it's just important to allow yourself to feel your feelings, whether it's anger, whether it's resentment, whether it's betrayal, whatever it is, allowing yourself to feel those feelings and then giving yourself the freedom and the liberty to let them go and to also to let those people go and to do that with the grace and kindness that you can muster whether that means to not say anything or it means to say something. Listen to yourself in terms of how that might look, but it's so it's so liberating and free to accept that. Everybody is not going to be able to show up for you in the way that you might need, but there are some people who are going to be able to, and that's the best thing that you know you could ever give yourself is, is to accept where you can get that and to accept where you can't. All right, so that's all I wanted to say. Take care.